I think it's pretty well known at this point that theaters are not going to be the same on the other side of the beer bug situation. And uh, Scott Mendelson, he uh, he breaks down what theaters might look like moving forward in the future. I've kind of talked about this in some of my videos as well, where I pretty much say the same thing that he does, but he kind of goes gives a, a little bit more uh, levels of detail than I did. So we're going to be taking a look at this uh, and seeing what he has to say about this. Uh, I can't really, uh, Scott Mendelson is a really annoying person person to me but uh he <laughs> sometimes he has some pretty good points and i think that he has uh some pretty good stuff to say here he is someone who's very knowledge knowledgeable about the the industry and stuff so let's go ahead and take a look at what he has to say so the corona uh, i almost said the word the beer bug situation uh, may hasten the grim future where movie theaters only exist for the very biggest blockbusters, franchises, and cinematic temples, while everything else is produced for streaming platforms. Domestic the theatrical movie going grossed $11.4 billion in 2019, with global earnings between $42.5 billion. Uh, so he, he kind of gets into a bunch of num numbers and stuff. When studios talk about lessening the window between theaters and post-theatrical revenue streams, they are trying to have their cake and eat it too. They want top-tier theatrical box office and top-tier post-theatrical revenue without any lag time. If Warner Bros. could release a movie like Tenet or Wonder Woman 1984 straight to a premium VOD strategy currently being tested by Universal and reap anywhere near the expected theatrical earnings, well, we wouldn't have movie theaters. Chatter about tradition and the purity of the theatrical experience notwithstanding, movie theaters still exist because the big studio er movies earn vast amounts of cash worldwide via first-run theatrical distribution. Now, I did see that uh, Trolls uh, World Tour actually is reporting to have earned $50 million in its opening weekend, which is pretty huge. That's probably about the same as it would have made in theaters. It might have even made a little bit less in theaters. And uh, if you think about it, the the money that uh, it's making from VOD is not is is going to be a, a lot more of it is going to be going to the studio than that it would have if it was released in theaters as well. So you know, Trolls World Tour did pretty good in its opening weekend. There are a few titles like Avatar and Frozen that have earned post theatrical revenue comparable to top box uh, top tier box office. However, those are the exceptions, and those successes only took place after ridiculously strong theatrical runs. Um, the comparison I've long made is the notion of movie theaters turning into the equivalent of video game arcades. While arcades thrived in the 1970s and 1980s, once home consoles, Nintendo, Sega, got to the point where they could successfully approximate any successful arcade game, the need to go to arca arcades nearly evaporated overnight. It's one thing when Nintendo offers a downscaled and compromised version of the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game. It's another when Super Nintendo provides an almost identical adaptation of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtles in Time once home consoles were able to approximate and then surpass the conventional arcade game. The arcades were only of value for nostalgia and immersive experiences that you couldn't approximate at home. Hollywood have, has been struggling with competition from streaming films and TV shows along with old school TV that can approximate in terms of production values, scale, writing, and star power. This isn't a new issue as sitcoms like Friends and Crime Proceed... Alright, so he's... Uh, okay, let's just move past that. There's just a couple more points that I want to make here. So, um, let's see... Um, in the darkest timeline prediction, one that the beer bug may merely have sped up, movie theaters would become video game arcades, only existing to show the biggest, most immersive tentpole movies in a way that couldn't be approximated at home. Much of that is the fault of moviegoers who have gone out of their way to avoid the very thing they complain Hollywood no longer makes. Which is true. Once again, online demands do not correlate with general audience interest. Folks would still like, will still see the very biggest movies like Tenet, F9, The Fast Saga, and Milan in theaters. Almost everything else would be created for streaming and VOD consumption, either as a VOD first rental title or another piece of accumulated content for the likes of Netflix, Amazon, and what have you. So. That is probably what is going to be the future of movies moving forward, which honestly is pretty sad. It's really sad for me, someone who, uh, you know, going to the theaters is one of my favorite things to, to do, like in life in general. I, I love going to the theaters. 
Um, and I usually like going to the theaters even for the movies that aren't the big blockbuster movies. Even more so, usually going to the theaters to see those types of movies. And it would be it would be sad if I wouldn't be able to get to see any of those movies anymore in theaters. And all they had were the blockbuster movies. But until, you know, I guess this kind of goes back to the whole speaking with your wallets thing. If people aren't really going to be supporting the more out-of-the-box original types of movies, then there's not really a point in putting them in theaters anymore if they're not going to be very well handled and very well accepted. So we'll have to see what happens. I think that this definitely is the future of theaters. I think that theaters will continue to be around, but I think that they will be more so for the big movies like the the Transformers and the, the comic book movies and, and all of that type of stuff. Hopefully, hopefully not in, in some time, but I think that is definitely the future. How soon that future may come, it's kind of hard to tell at this point. I don't think it's going to be like right after the whole beer bug situation is over. I don't think it's going to be just like a automatic switch to that, but it is definitely the direction that is that things are going to continue to go in moving forward in the future. So with that being said, let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Uh, subscribe to my personal channel as well, Josiah Rises. I greatly appreciate that. And also subscribe here to Geeks and Gamers if you are new. And I will talk to you all very soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye.